Welcome to the odd ad room in the Harmer household. That's what my kids call it for obvious reasons. This is a little bit of a diversion from the series we're doing on cartridge wars that we're going to be returning to. So in alphabetical order, odd ad, these would be my top picks. The reason that I'm picking cartridges kind of in this class is I would value long range shooting on this because odd ad are almost always in tough open terrain. And the other thing is, I was surprised by how big bodied odd ad can be. Holy cow, look at that thing. Woo! I mean, they are big, tough bodied animals when you shoot a mature one. And so for me, I want something bigger than a 6.5 Creedmoor for odd ad and something for long range. So I think 6.5 PRC would be an excellent choice. That's actually what I used on that hunt. But I might even step it up to something with a little bit bigger of a frontal diameter. I think if I were going today, I'd probably take a 6.8 Western. A little bit bigger frontal diameter. We're only talking four more foot pounds of recoil than energy than a, a 6.5 PRC, but you're getting more than a hundred foot pounds of energy and shooting a significantly heavier bullet. Up next is antelope, and I'm gonna kind of mix that in with springbuck, which is really just the African equivalent. These are incredibly easy to kill. I mean, <laughs> you like look at them wrong and they die, right? They're very fast animals, have good vision. Sometimes it's going to take the longer shots. You know, you go out in Wyoming um, and you may have a little bit of a longer shot at one of these, and they're also physically smaller animals. And so you have to be very precise. I've shot ton of springbuck with 6.5 Creedmoor and they all go down almost instantly or instantly. So all five of these are really good options and you really wouldn't go wrong with any of them. However, my personal choice, I would probably cut out the 6.5 Creedmoor because ballistically it just can't hang with the rest and we may get some long shots because antelope are almost always in very open country. Then we look at the 25-06. It's a very versatile, popular cartridge still, but it is certainly waning in popularity. It's a long action. It's kind of a very different case design than what we might see today. It's a great choice and that's why I've put it here, but I probably might remove it so that we can get a little bit of a shorter barrel. Six millimeter Creedmoor and 243. I really like, I would edge though the 6.5 PRC because of the wind drift. You know, let's say we're out in Wyoming, it wouldn't be uncommon to see 20 mile an hour winds. And at 300 yards, that really saves you a lot in figuring out your wind. It's a tiny bit more recoil, but it's still so manageable, I might as well do it. I really gained respect for how tough the black bear is a few years ago when I was setting up a trail cam and I caught a fight of two black bears. And when you see them in the wild, they just look like these cuddly, slow moving things, but they are powerful and so fast. I, I mean, a black bear, even though usually they're pretty small, they are just so powerful. And when I saw that, I thought, man, I have more respect for this when I see those things in the woods. And I've been charged by a black bear before while bow hunting, and I had to spray it with pepper spray. Um, I was coming over a little bit rise, and I'm like 15 feet from a, from a cub. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, crap. <laughs> sure enough, mama comes tearing through the bush right at me. And fortunately, I had br brought bear spray. I rarely do unless I'm in grizzly territory. Um, and I sprayed it and it was over like that. If you're from a stand, it's going to be an easy shot anyway. The only thing you don't want to do is allow that thing to run off into thick brush and now you've got to go through thick brush and just hope it's dead, right? From a stand, I think 308 is money here. Um, it's a big frontal diameter. You can shoot a heavy bullet. You can get good penetration, but it's not unnecessary recoil either for a close shot. Now, if we're talking longer range, these would maybe be my picks. If we're talking about, you know, out west, this is a spot and stock kind of hunt where a cross canyon shot's pretty likely. And I think for me, the pick is going to be the seven millimeter Remington Magnum. 
I think it's a great choice because of the ballistics it has. We don't give it enough cred for, for how good it does shooting pretty long range. It has great ballistics. It's, it has a lot of steam to it. Caribou. I have not personally killed a caribou. It is very high on my list because my wife keeps telling me that that spot above our fireplace in the living room would just look really, really good with caribou there. For me, I think my options are going to be these. I'm looking at my notes a little bit. 6.8 Western, 280 Ackley Improved. Now, 6.8 Western and 280 Ackley Improved, the ballistics are nearly identical. I mean, almost the exact same thing. And so between those two, I mean, Ah, it's it's difficult to pick. I mean, they're they're very very similar beasts right there. 280 Ackley Improved and 65 or a 68 Western. I probably wouldn't pick the 30 out six because it has 32 inches of drop at 400 yards compared to 25 with the 68 Western. I like that flat shooting, but also you're probably in grizzly territory, and so having a 30 out six is a pretty good option. The 270 Winchester just doesn't have a ton of bullet option options in that heavier grain weight that I'd probably want to pick for this. And so I don't think I'd go there. The 6.5 PRC, I'm not crazy on the 6.5 caliber for anything bigger than even antelope. I just, I've seen dozens of animals that I or my kids have shot with 6.5 caliber. I mean, dozens of animals we've shot with it. So I, I, I'm not saying this flippantly. Um, I've shot a lot of animals with 6.5s and it's a little bit light. Uh, you know, 99% of the time thump and then every once in a while it's like, oh, that, that probably shouldn't have happened. All right, coyotes, a lot of great options for coyotes. I'm looking for something that's very fast and flat because you can't always get an accurate range. You don't always have time with it when you're coyote hunting. And I want something that's going to be light on pelts. Something like a 243 or a 6 Creedmoor may anchor them a little bit better, but it is a little bit tougher on pelts. So for me, I'm going 22, 250. All of these cartridges will absolutely kill deer, no problem. They're all successful for a reason. But there are three that I would probably knock out for my general purpose hunting of deer. And that's the 350 Legend. And the only reason I take it out is it's not a bottleneck cartridge like these. So it's not shooting super fast. It doesn't have very good range, but it'll absolutely thump a deer up close. Very useful in states that require straight wall cartridges. But for me, it's a specialty cartridge. 3030 is a great round for lever actions. It's obviously been used for decades successfully, but I mean, nobody's going to argue that it has the most incredible ballistics. And so why, why, why pick it? There are newer cartridges that I think can do everything it does, plus a little bit more. Uh, but if I'm shooting a lever, lever action, boy, it's a cool choice. I love it. 243 for me is also a specialty cartridge. Now, when I'm taking, you know, Jim Jr. out shooting, I don't have a Jim Jr., I have Ruger and Cole. Uh, yeah, I want to give them the 243 so they have the lowest recoil so I can be sure they'll make a good shot. But since I have seen quite a few things die to the 243, I also have seen, at least in one case, a very uninspiring death from a very good shot. And so for me, it's not about how little of a cartridge can I possibly use to get away with. For general shooting, I'm gonna take the biggest thing I can shoot accurately. So what are my top picks? For me, it's the 308. If I'm shooting in a deer stand, I love 308. Big frontal diameter, plenty of power. It's gonna absolutely crush that deer and I wanna give it as much power as I can. For hunting out west, I like that 6.5 PRC. It's perfect for deer, very flat shooting, inspires confidence in high winds. 270, 6.8 Western, 280 Ackley Improved would also be my notable mentions. Elk, so here are my choices for elk. And man, that's the dream team. Any one of these is great, but you'll notice two are missing. 308 and 7mm08 that a lot of people would pick as well as 6.5 PRC that a lot of people would put on that list. 
I personally wouldn't. I'm not saying you shouldn't hunt with them, whatever, it's your choice. But just for my personal dream team, it wouldn't make it. Elk is by far the number one animal for being shot, wounded, and not recovered. And so when I'm hunting elk, I want to tip everything in my favor. I want it to be such an unfair fight. I want to blast that thing. Obviously shot placement is key. Bullet construction is very important. But if we're also picking a cartridge to stack in our favor, I want one of the dream team. What happens I think with elk and the reason so many get wounded is somebody sees a 400 class bull and they just, and they're like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try, you know? And suddenly the limits that we've all placed on ourselves are out the window. And so, or let's say it's just a 250 yard shot, but you get caught in a 25 mile an hour crazy wind out there. I want to have everything stacked in my favor ballistically on these things. Personally, my three picks are going to be 300 WSM is my number one. And the reason is it's a short action. And so, um, and that in addition to other factors, you're getting a short barrel. That extension of the suppressor isn't a big deal when I'm hiking through the mountains. That's why it's my number one. My number two is seven mag. You can never go wrong with seven mag. I know everybody always says 30-06, just go with the 30-06. For me, it's seven mag, just go with the seven mag. But then if you've got to go to a very light rifle, let's say where we've, you know, we're going to something like a Kimber Mountain Ascent, we're just, this is deep backcountry, we've got to save every, every single ounce, then I'd probably go with 280 Ackley Improved. Okay, I'm going to knock a few out in kind of rapid succession here. Um, hogs, I'm probably picking 308. Kudu, Zebra, or Red Stag, my pick is going to be the 7 Rim Mag. Moose, I'm going to have to defer to Joseph Von Benedict from the Backcountry Hunting Podcast. Awesome podcast, definitely my favorite in the industry. And his recommendation was 300 Wind Mag. Mountain Lion, you know, you're usually up close. It's usually a hunt with dogs. Um, for me, again, I'm all about the most ethical death possible, and so I'm... You know, it's just like any tree stand, ground blind, close up hunt. I want the 308. Short barrel, tons of power. Sheep hunt. Oh, this would be a tough choice. Uh, I think I'd probably go 6.5 PRC. Wildebeest. I hunted six blue wildebeest with the 6.5 PRC this year, and it was not adequate to the task. It just wasn't. It was a very unfortunate situation. I had a experience with that with that guide i'd been there before i knew them i had even kind of helped them out during the uh, pandemic where they were struggling financially and we get there the day the day of and the place had just changed you could tell uh, maybe the low money from the pandemic and not having hunters in but um, we had picked a package of animals we'd agreed on it paid for it everything the day we get there totally switched up the, the package and just said, ah, these are the animals that, that we have available right now. And I thought, you know what? That's okay. I can be flexible with you, but why didn't we talk about this two weeks ago when I could have made a proper cartridge selection? So we hunted blue wildebeest with 6.5 PRC. Again, it was, it just wasn't up to the task in my opinion. Anyway, so if I'm hunting blue wildebeest, 300 wind mag, if we're talking black wildebeest, then I'm just going to just my general recommendation for planes game, just take the 30 out six. Thanks everybody for your support on this channel and we will see you in the next video.